There we go. We're finally here. We're finally here! Okay, so we are in Watery. We're looking for a clue uh, about something called a clicker, which is a device that Alan Wake used in the first game to defeat, like, the Dark Presence that is turning his writing into nightmares. Um, like, real nightmares. And we're here to find out whatever this thing is. Okay, let's go around and talk to some people. Hello. Do you have a second? Ah, uh, long time and no see, Miss Anderson. Uh, Tor and Odin are not here. They are uh, old tricksters always sneaking off. Sorry, no, I, I wanted to ask you about something else. This is this is weird, right? This is not the first time we've come across a person who thinks that Anderson is from Bright Falls. We came across... I remember this this lady in the diner, this waitress, who thought that she was, like... She was here about her sister drowning or something like that, which never happened. Or maybe it did, but not that Anderson knows about it. Do you live around here? I live in Bright Falls. You've seen me around. I am Mr. Blum. You call me Vladimir. I work at the nursing home. I take care of your old people. We are on day trip, music, sauna, the good times. I bring them here in the bus. The elderly are very important. And it's a very nice bus. <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's a, I have no idea what the fuck you're saying, but it's a very nice bus. <laughs> Can you point me to any trailers around here? Sure. Watery Lighthouse Trailer Park. You know, Koskela owns it. He owns many things in town. And where is Ilmo? I saw Yumo and his brother at the bridge. Well, what used to be the bridge. Okay. I'm gonna go in to my little thing and put him in here right away, because otherwise I know things tend to get fucked up. If you don't put all the clues on the board right away, it tends to lead to some weird stuff happening. A trailer park is a good place to look for a trailer. <laughs> simple, Saga. I need to find Ilmo Koskela. Ilmo Koskela. Yeah, so this entire town is funded, found, found, not funded, founded by uh, Finnish immigrants. Suomi Hall. A vote for Mayor Setter is a vote for everyone. For watery. Mayor Setter will stand up for justice. Mayor Setter will stand up for justice. Mayor Setter will stand up for justice. <laughs> okay. Freshwater fishery. I'm just gonna looking around. I like I like the environments. Let's take a look. Hey, what did you used to say your dream job was as a kid? I bet it wasn't dock worker. I don't know about all that, but idle hands are the devil's playground. So, well. Us fishing types appreciate you all, at least. Us fishing types. <laughs> That's a way to describe yourself. The flooding is even worse here. More like underwatery. Ha <laughs> ha! I got him. Casey, that one later. I wonder if that was that's what happened to the bridge. The the flooding happened. Oh, I can't even remember. There's so much going on in this game. Enjoy your day. You can also enjoy your day. Mom's family was from Sweden. Hell yeah. I always imagined it kind of like this. Saunas, <laughs> <laughs> lakes. Seems nice. I mean, there are, there are saunas and lakes in Sweden, for sure. I think those are more so associated with Finland than with Sweden, but we still have them here as well. And, and like, honestly, this is what Sweden looks like in November. I can't remember exactly when this takes place, but, like, in, in late autumn, this is kind of what Sweden looks like. And, like, very late October, early November, or even, even later in November. This is kind of what it looks like. I'm just going to head in. Like, I think this is where we're headed. But I want to head in and check the Suomi Hall first. See what's going on. So let's talk to this dude. Everyone's drinking coffee in this game. 
an addiction. Hi, do you want to talk? No, you just want to say hi. That's that's okay. I can accept that. Swami Hall, watery. Oh wait, it's Akti. <laughs> Catchy tune. <laughs> the janitor just keeps showing up. Also, everyone here knows who she is. This is this is creepy. Like when in Bright Falls, when the, gen the not the janitor, the waiter knew who I was, and we mentioned that the sheriff, all he said was like, "Oh yeah, that's like uh, he, he, she's a little weird." The wait the waitress, she's a little weird, so it's nothing to worry about. But here, it's like everyone knows who she is. Rest easy, buddy. In the janitors. We can also use this to switch reality and go back into uh, Wake's story. But I think I'm going to play through this entire like chapter as Anderson first. Nice map. Good. Jarvis and Vene. Both storage and repair. Okay, let's move on. Hey, Saga! Over here! <laughs> hey, Ilmo. How did your walk in the woods with Steven go? Another satisfied customer. I just hope he remembers to write a good review on the webpage. Great to see you back in Watery Saga. Everyone in town missed you. <laughs> Super nice to see you again, Saga. They act I... like they've known me for years. This keeps happening. Yeah? Are you familiar with the cult of the tree? Yeah, we always thought it was an urban legend. Kids drawing creepy symbols to scare each other, but uh, now it's got them pretty damn real, huh? It's terrible what happened. We're all in shock. Well, we're looking into it, hoping to get things back to normal soon. We're all for that. <laughs> as normal as it ever gets around here. You own the trailer park, right? Mind if I take a look inside? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure the owner of the Watery Lighthouse Trailer Park, me, can help you with that. Oh, why is he saying like that? The funniest resident back. Resident? I don't understand what you mean. If this is your way of getting out of any outstanding bills, don't worry. They've been handled. Must be hard coming back to where you and your little girl lived. It's like they remember oh. a different reality. Oh. Is the horror story messing with their memories? Or is it messing with your memories? Oh, it wasn't her sister. It was a little girl who drowned. But she... She didn't drown. Or she... She did. I I don't know what's real anymore. Oh, this is fucky. Elmo thinks the cult is just an urban legend. Or does he? There are things that go bump in the night. It's all true. It's all true. Sound the alarm, brother. Gather the troops. Brother, Yako, the shadow of the forest is creeping closer. They don't think it's an urban legend at all. They understand it's dangerous. Ilmo made it sound like I lived here. Does he really believe that? Light, laughter, and love will guide you home. Saga and her daughter. Oh boy. Happy faces raise property value. Family comes first, Ilma. We take care of her trailer while she's gone. She's one of us, Yako. Her spare key is safe and sound. The Koskala brothers have happy memories of me living here. This must be the story affecting them. I'll play along for now. I need the key to that trailer. So what is Coffee World? <laughs> you mean you haven't seen our commercial for it? Coffee World is a smooth blend of rides, food, and fun. We even had a real moose. Until recently. 
Plus, what happened to the moose? Right next to Coffee World, what did you guys do to the moose? For our own <laughs> Nights motorcycle club. We're busy building the uh, floats for Deerfest. Don't go peeking, though. <laughs> you know, we're saving the big reveal for Deerfest. So, your commercials? They're more than commercials, Saga. Our goal is to both entertain and educate local viewers about the fine products and services we provide. That sounds and, like a commercial. Uh, Yako here really comes alive in front of the camera. Really. Fuck off. I'm just there for the free beer. Not sure what Ilmo's excuse is. Hey, I'm writer, producer, co-lead, director. Do yourself a favor and uh, check them all out. All joking aside, yes, I would like to see my trailer. Do you have a spare set of keys? Good for you. Yeah, I have a spare set. They're just over at Coffee World. I get them for you, but Yaku and I have to head to Bright Falls. The spare keys are in the gift shop safe. I'll call ahead and uh, have someone get them out for you. Oh, the road's flooded. But if you just follow this trail behind me, it'll lead you there. Call the gift shop. So like my so yep. <laughs> flooded? It went flooded sploosh? Nothing. Hi. What am I paying them for? Guess they're busy. There's Coffee World. Need to get across the river. What was that? Yeah, the fuck was that? I'm gonna turn off the light, by the way, so I can see the screen more clearly. And so it gets spookier. Spooky. Sp uh. Fuck! FBI, show yourself. FBI, stop zooming! They're, they're coming out in the br in the light. The fuck? Shit, they're fast. Oh, they're still covered in shadow. Got him. Into Taken. Shit. Is this the cult? Or the story? Or both? Or neither. Or a little bit of one and a little bit of the other. Something from column A and something from column B. Oh, uh. Enter? Sure. Why enter? <laughs> Why am I pressing ENTER? <laughs> it's like the least convenient key. Maybe that's the point. It's not supposed to be convenient. Saga in the watery woods. Saga was beginning to see why Casey disliked the woods so much. Ah, uh, Casey's just grumpy. Here. 
Too many places to hide. The distorted carnival music drifting from the amusement park ahead did not help. What the Koskalis had said about her living in Watery with Logan unsettled her. For the whole Logan's story a daughter. to involve her was one thing, but involving her daughter was crossing the line. Yep. Something darted across the path ahead. Too fast to see. Saga drew her weapon. Her eyes searched the woods. A noise overhead. Saga swiveled to look. A local. A man on the ridge above her. No. Not a man. A monster with a hatchet in each hand. It shouted down at her. Hunting season was a bust! Well, I didn't hear what the fuck he was saying, so I'm glad that you, you heard that. Logan is not dead, but what else did the story change about her life? Knowing might help me fight this thing. Because we talked to Logan on the phone after we got here, I think. So, it's correct, she's not dead. That is, that is correct. Like, uh, as, as far as we know, you know? Fuck? That doesn't sound right. Another locked box. You take the crossbow, I put it in the stash when you're done. Crossbow. Let's change the code. I mean, you could try all 100 com. It, well, it's 999 combinations. Uh, but how about we don't? Wait! Wait, 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 wait. Okay. This is a this is like a clue, right? Five, two, seven. Okay, let's try that. Got it. Hoo -hoo -hoo. If you aren't wearing the mask, this does not belong to you. Well, you know, I'm police, so I don't really give a fuck about rules. I hate that achievement thing that pops up. I thought I had disabled that, but it's not working. For some reason. The question is, can we hit him now? Is he cloaked in, is he cloaked in shadow? I'm doing damage. Oh, fuck. Are, are you part of the cult? What are you trying to say? Okay, we need to get rid of that first. Or maybe I do, like, less damage if he still got the shadow on. Seems like I'm not doing as much. It looked like he could do a little bit of damage, though. It looked like the, he actually took a little bit of damage. It's good that you can retrieve some of the some of the bolts. It's nice. Beep, beep, beep. I'm not sure if I should have this out. Like it feels more like a long range weapon. Which is a little tricky because if you have to use the flashlight to get rid of the shadow shield on the enemies, then using the uh uh the using the crossbow seems difficult, you know? It seems hard. Because the flashlight isn't that long range. What we got? Um ammunition. Hi, Hero. I think a few pieces of paper from my private fanfiction project got mixed into some of these stashes, but I don't know which ones. I posted some online, and they're getting pretty good reviews, but I'd appreciate it if, if you didn't treat them. It's a privacy thing. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> Lorda. Did we wake Alan yet? Well, we've successfully waken, waken, waken me up. Wake me up before you go-go. Also, I have a crossbow. And also, uh, there are more people who insist that Saga Anderson lived here and her daughter drowned here. 
even though her daughter is alive, like we talked to her on the phone. So it's a little weird. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Hope your Thursday is going well. And that you're drinking plenty of water so it doesn't turn into Thursday. Husband get eaten by Wendigo. <laughs> Yeah, we well, all we know about her husband is that he likes to watch like a a TV show with uh, their daughter, and they're watching like uh, what was it called? The TV show. It's something that has been referenced in other other games, other remedy games. Can't remember. Twilight Zone? It's not the it's not a real TV show. It's not the Twilight Zone, but it's something that is like the Twilight Zone, but in this universe that they mentioned a couple of times. Scratch on the hunt. What are you up to? Scratch stalked through the forest. A terrifying the night shift the night more sense than seen. <laughs> Darkness boiled in his skull, like a storm cloud crammed into a bottle. The woods were alive with those he had taken. They were coming with him, directed by him, his army of darkness. His singular purpose was a sharp, pulsing black hole in his head, waves roaring out of it to whip his flock into a frenzy, filling them with his purpose. The clicker, he wanted it to make his horrific ending to the story come true. The art was there. The clicker would push it across the final threshold, a detonator to send out a tidal wave that would spread to overtake reality. He oh. was so close to claiming it. The Taken gibbered and shouted, straining against their invisible leashes, filled with bloodlust. Scratch let them go. They launched themselves into the night with violent glee. He ripped a signpost from the ground, swung it in his hands as if it was made of air. Ahead, the music started. Oh. It called him on. Let the final deer fence commence. Saves you from death, but shatters in the process? That's pretty good. Can we use that? We can. Okay, cool. That's why I say if Alan is in the game. I mean, I'm not sure if you were here last time, but I did pl I, I've did. played a lot as Alan as well. So I have... Uh, and we can switch between Saga and Alan, like, at different points now, if we want. And I'm playing... I played the last chapter as Alan, now I'm playing this as Saga. I'm switching back and forth a little bit. Wait, this is the wrong way. I need to head into the coffee thing. Hello? Oh, Anyone probably here? don't yell. Nope. Did they get out? Did the Taken get them? Or were they turned into Taken? I'll need to get the key to the trailer park myself. Ilmo said the key is kept in the gift shop safe. Gift shop? Locked. Need something uh. to jimmy it open with. Well, we know that they have bolt cutters. But they even have that in, in their commercial. <laughs> it's like their primary attraction. Wait, that's where I came from. There's another cult stash. Only striped cups. Oh, I have to go. Oh, it's the merry-go-round. Oh, not, not the merry-go-round. What's it called? The Paris Ferris wheel. That's number one. Oh, why hear people behind me? What the hell? God, I think it's this thing fluttering. Four, five, six, seven. Okay, so let's try one, four, seven then. Hell yeah. I'm so smart. 
Uh, do not take what is not yours. Uh, well, if I could read that sign, probably would have stopped me. Too bad. So sad. This toilet is temporarily out of order. What the fuck? All the toilets are out of order. Get your shit together. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> sounds like you're the one who can't get your shit together <laughs> now that the toilet's broken. I, I also... What I like about Saga as a protagonist is that she, she is like... Even though she's faced with this like extremely weird shit... She's she's constantly like on point. She's constantly like asking the right questions and like investigating the right things. Like when she came in here, she yelled hello, and I was like, "Why are you doing that?" And then I realized, well, there could be actual people here still. And then she starts speculating, like, "Oh, were they turned into Taken? Were they were they were they taken? Did they disappear? What happened to them?" Yeah, how about no? <laughs> Jesus! Calm down, Saga. It's just a pot of coffee. Have a beautiful day. Beautiful day. Yeah, I guess this is the only way. Oh, fuck! Oh, shit! Fuck! Holy fuck, you sanky! Die! Oh shit! Oh fuck that! Reload! God, that's slow. Shit, the crossbow is hard. Oh, fuck that. Is she still protected? There we go, okay, good. You're handling it pretty well, <laughs> gotta say. Doing all right. Uh, also, I lost the charm that protected me from death. I thought that it was like, oh, this is gonna be really powerful, but nope.
Right. Still pretty good on arrows. Well, they're bolts, technically. If you want to be, tech if you want to be all technical about it. You ask, Mayor Setter will speak. Speak, Mayor, speak. Woof, woof. <laughs> I can't read this at all. A moosing mocha facts. Mocha is around six years old. Did you know moose can live up to 25 years? Mocha weighs 820 pounds. Did you? Why, 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 why? Maybe people who live in English, or not English speaking, people who live in countries where they use pounds. Can you explain to me why it says libs? When it's called pounds. Why is it libs? Mocha weighs 820 pounds. Did you know moose are the largest species of deer in the world? I did that know that, actually. Mocha loves to swim. Did you know moose can dive up to 20 feet underwater? I did not know that. Well, maybe I, th I think I've heard that, actually. Mocha's favorite drink is coffee. <laughs> did you know that Mocha is the only known moose with a caffeine addiction? <laughs> I've actually been to uh, a place called a moose garden in Sweden. It's a uh, place where they have mooses. And I got to pet some mooses, and that was cool. The guy, the, the tour guide, he told us that when we were in to pet the moose calves in their little uh, enclosure to pet them, if they started to turn away from us, we had to leave them alone. Because that was them signaling that they wanted to be left alone. And there was this little, this little kid, he didn't speak, I think he was from Germany, he didn't speak Swedish. So he didn't understand. So when the tour guide... Uh, told him to leave that moose alone. Uh, the moose calf started getting annoyed with him, and, and the tour guide told him to leave him alone, and he didn't understand. So the moose calf, like, kicked him. <laughs> it was kind of sad, but it, he wasn't hurt or anything. It was just... Damn, she's strong. Now where is that safe? Locked. Okay. Why did you change the damn what password the to the safe again? I thought it was lookout fixer supplier who hurt you. Why are you so paranoid? <laughs> Calm down. This one's easy. Tracker looked out. Look out cleaner. See, not rocket science. <laughs> Where's this song? I hear. I remember this. Da, 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 da. I guess it's a it's familiar enough beat. Coffee World staff. Hope they're not all monsters now. Uh, news of the week. Remember to bring your liability forms for Tuesdays. Bring your dog to coffee for all day. The photos have stickers on them. Uh, tracker? Lookout. Is that him? One, four, six. Let's try that then. There we go. Okay, so it, I was right from the, the beginning. I just trailer. made a little now mistake. To find the clicker and the colt. Let's go. Let's go down to the the express thing. I think we've already looked at this one. No, no, we haven't actually. What thought he well? Dwelling place of the evil water spirit, the Necki. I wonder if that's the same as the Nekken we have in Swedish. Oh, this is this is not very safe. <laughs> this is like this is bad bad safety. <laughs> There's an amusement park. <laughs> How did I even get in here? Another one of those cult boxes. What hides behind the smile? Is it the Wait, that's the coffee pot guy. <laughs> the flamingo was with him. <laughs> oh, no! I'm sorry, I don't wanna. Can't. You deserve better than to glitch through a fence. I'm sorry.
is panting pretty heavily when she runs, but not as bad as uh, Leon and Ashley in Resident Evil 4. <laughs> <laughs> they were like you would run five meters, and they were like. There <sighs> 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 we go. Gotcha. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Shit! There we go. Got him. Attack the weed spot for massive damage. Well, still doing okay, but running low on heals. Pistol ammo isn't doing great either. Oh, this is delightful. <laughs> Look at that moose. How happy it looks. Fucking delightful. This is a very dense game, you know, in terms of how much stuff there is to look at, how many things there are to read, and, you know, little uh, manuscript pages and profiling and putting stuff on the case board and stuff like that. Oh, it's the old gods of Asgard. <laughs> not drink the water. Or take a bath. Ever again. Moonshine. Only drink the moonshine, brother! <laughs> <laughs> Don't look like cultists. Oh no. Excuse me. I'm looking for the Anderson trailer. Sweetie pie, right on time. Like we were just saying, it's not true. The lies to hurt you and make you weak. Don't believe a word. They believe because deep down, they want to be told what to think. We're different. Rebels! You must stop it before it turns real. Don't be part of the story. Make the story. Guess that maybe we shouldn't be following the manuscript pages. <laughs> These old drunks don't seem affected by the horror story like the other locals are. Do they know what's happening here? How do you know about the story? Same as you, of course, sweetie pie. We are family. The Andersons. Vikings. Oh. Gods. Are they actually relatives of her mom? So good. To finally see you, Saga. I am your great uncle Odin, and this is your long lost Murfar. <laughs> Shara Saga. Shara Saga. He is your grandfather, and I am the old father. <laughs> Just as crazy as everyone else. Just as caught in it. 
I need to stay focused. I need to check out the trailer. You have things to do, sweetie pie. We don't want to keep you from your business. Official FBI business. I will. That's that was uh, in the first game. Is this where they live? It has to be where they live, yeah. Reeks of booze. Ooh, pizza. Addressed mm -hmm. to me from years ago. Wake was right. Oh shit! The horror story is changing reality, not just people's memories. This card has mom's handwriting. Oh my god, this has to be this is so creepy. Shouldn't spend time on old questions. Right, exactly. We we actually solved those things before we needed to uh we needed to pull this stuff out. That's good. I'm I'm glad you can do that with some things. Everything here reminds me of Logan. This could be her room. This so is this is my trailer, trailer. yeah. Too personal. Yeah, this is something that's actually freaking her out. She's been pretty, pretty chill about everything so far. But you can tell that this is actually getting to her. Do you think we missed Audie's show? Oh, yeah. Not <laughs> <laughs> Gonna shoot the wildlife of the Pacific. Bon. Yeah. Logan used to love her music. Music for the soul. Logan, keep on shining, little rock star. Your proud great granddad and grand great grand uncle. <laughs> Plot chickens, what the fuck? A pun book from Elmo. <laughs> are we close in the story? Just like you that are. That might explain some of his behavior. Did I leave the bureau in this fictional reality? Oh. My newfound relatives, cozy with the cult of the tree. Oh. And that's the clicker, in the hands of the cult, just like the page promised. Carly Vala Knights. That's the motorcycle club the Costello brothers are in. I'll take Odin and Tor up on their offer and visit their nursing home, right after I find this biker workshop. Mulligan is a cultist? What the fuck is going on here?
Ah, it's not working. The headline about Logan wasn't real. Don't think about it. The cult has the clicker. Get it? Fix this. This is the workshop from the photo with the cultists. This is where they had the clicker. If it's still here, I need to find it. Hey, Ilmo, I can't l find the new door lock combination. Look inside the smiley coffee cup doesn't help me. Thanks everyone for your valuable input. I'm assuming that means Saturday sun and night is on. Sun is good for your body and your soul. You may not like it, but it likes you. <laughs> and all condiments are welcome, of course. Wait, okay. Hey fellas, I suggest we start a regular sauna night now that the old place is working again. What's the best time for it? How about a classic Saturday night session? I'll bring the sausage and mustard. But bring your own beverage. Not everyone enjoys frying themselves to death, Limo. And who would pick mustard over ketchup? Ignore Fred, he doesn't have what it takes, and he's wrong about ketchup too. It's obviously chili mayo or nothing. It's chili bia or nothing. Hello Lord, welcome back! This is your final warning to stop taking the OOP out of the assembly hall. You want to get drunk in the workshop? Fine. But the OOP is for rich ritual use only. Ritual use. So they were they part of the cult? I've seen some of you place our stashes in the open. Please don't do that, you rash skulls. Oh, they are part of the cult. But the cult maybe the cult wasn't evil before the horror story. You know? Maybe they weren't evil before the story got to them. Yeah, there's a, there's a cult in the game. Of a certain lamb? No. <laughs> they do wear deer masks, though. Okay, so our clue is look behind the smiley coffee cup. Deputies make a grave mistake. Oh, it's about how they got taken, maybe. Hey, stop right there. The shape stumbled out of the dark toward Deputy Mulligan. Thornton was doubled over, coughing. A chunk of cold pastrami caught in his throat. Bring it, fucker. Mulligan fired. Thornton hacked the pastrami out of his windpipe, opened fire with his partner. The monster fell. They kept shooting. The thrill of domination. This was the cult of the tree. Not one tree. A forest. Secret knowledge in a deer mask. A last line of defense. yippee Kaye, motherfucker. Bright Falls, fucking finest. They crept over, pulling out their flashlights. The horror. This is Monica from the tackle shop. An innocent woman. Thornton's pastrami came back up. Oh. So they were part of the cult, but they were not taken. So the cult was not necessarily evil. Their symbols are everywhere here. How did I miss that? Lamb is a symbol, the one that criminals fear. As a symbol, I can be indestructible. <laughs> Lamb man. Look behind the smiley coffee cup. Like, this is... Oh, it's from up, up to down. I got it. I got it. It's the this this one first. Got it. Okay, that makes more sense. I was looking at it from left to right, but it makes more sense to see it from top to bottom. I got it. I got it. So we have this one first, and then that one, and then we have this one last. No, not that one. Uh, my bad. This one. There we go. Oh, this is a this safe room. This is the cult's hideout. Their headquarters, even? But they're like, this This seems very harmless. Like, this seems like there's no human sacrifice, there's no darkness, they're just... There's a basement. A bunch of guys who are just... Could come in handy. Just kind of chilling and wearing deer masks. Seems pretty harmless. Like, I, maybe this is just pure copia. Maybe I'm just trying really hard. 
That's what they want you to think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I really want to believe that they're harmless because there were some cool people in in the, in it. But we have also seen that they they can be like they're sacrificing people. But I don't know if that's like what they did originally or if it's like the dark presence horror story stuff making them do that. The light switch you found washed up at the deck is not junk. It's fucking important. Trust me on this. From now on, whenever we catch a target, you're gonna. Whenever we catch a target, we're gonna cut out its heart, stick the thing inside, and flick it. I know it sounds weird, but just trust me. It'll be like a ritual. Oh, that's really fucked up. Catch a target? Is that a person? Ah, oh, this is so weird. I can't. I can't know what to believe. Like, which what is real and what is like created as part of the story? A creepy basement. Okay, let's go back up and save. <laughs> I really don't want the Koskala brothers to be evil. I really don't want uh, Tor and Odin to be evil. Turn off the flashlight. Be a little sneaky. Oh no. That's the clicker. The fuck did they go? Oh! No. They took it. They're playing with me. I was so close. There was another overlap here in Watery. The parade float was the key. Mulligan and Thornton had gone there, taken the clicker, left this monster here to stop her. There's an overlap here, like there was at Cauldron Lake. Mulligan and Thornton are like Nightingale. Inside, waiting. And a parade float is the key. A taken is upstairs. This was a trap. Oh. <laughs> No. you okay now where's that parade float oh speaking of things that are floating Parade float, is that in here? What 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 is a parade float even? <laughs> is this the parade float? Oh, this is the one. They even have like the <laughs> it's a parade float about like the cultists dragging people away. What the hell? The overlap formed around Watery's dark past. The ritual to enter was tied to crafting the float. Art was the key. It had the power to let Saga in. At Cauldron Lake, giving the poem and the heart to the witch sign opened the overlap. Here, it's the parade float. But it's incomplete. Okay, we need to complete it. Oh, thank you so much for the snack. I'm gonna go get it right now. Give me, give me one second. Hell yeah. I got a whole ass chocolate quaso. Thank you so much. This is one disturbing parade float. What that he butchered his victims with his poco knife. That's the guy from the the well was made, named after. Hello, Impo. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. I am doing well. 
I finally got this game to run. It was had some technical issues before. It's really good. How are you doing? Okay, so we're missing a mask. So we need a knife and a mask. Okay. I saw several of the masks around. Can I pick them up? No. What's missing from the parade float? It's a mask. I need to put it together. Um, it's a mask. <laughs> it's literally a mask. <laughs> and you, you can't... Apparently we can't grab these. Apparently these masks are no good. Let's see, what does this say here? So this is the Coscula Brothers parade float. Looks like only four pieces are missing. Oh, this is this the is where they are. The okay. Without a location listed. Wait, the headbats? No! <laughs> They're petting the air! <laughs> Touching grass. That's like, it, you gave me an, an idea for a new redeem. <laughs> Make chat go touch grass. Let's see. So this is where we're looking for the knives. Yeah. There we go. Thank you so much for the headpads. I'm actually going to lurk to avoid spoilers because I don't really want to play the Ellen Wake games at some point. Completely understandable. This, this game is, so far, it's really good. Gift shop. Moose skull mask. Okay, it's not a deer. Here. Okay, cool. It's closer missing. than I thought. Can't operate the ride without it. It's fine though. Guess we need to start the ride. There we go. Now I just need to stop it in the position that will let me get to that circuit board down there. Ah. There we go, that was good. <laughs> oh, come on, Anderson. You should be able to climb this. <laughs> Extremely convoluted way to get a circuit box. <laughs> Circuit board, not circuit box. There we go. Thank you. Kind of looks like a box, though. Oh no! Oh no! Good thing no one was riding that. How do I get out of here? That is not helping. What do I do? Oh my god, that's so loud. <laughs> okay, is there another way out? Okay, we keep going. that? Oh, it's a manuscript page. Okay. Oh, no. Go back down. Not supposed to be up here. Coffee to save your day. I'm. Do you guys like coffee, by the way? I'm not sure if I've asked that before. I am not much of a coffee drinker. In in real life. Let's see, we can put this in here. There's your knife. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, coffee. Ah, makes perfect sense. I wonder if you can pick up all these items on the first run-through. Before you know what you need them for. 
I'm guessing no, but possibly. So now it's just the mask, the moose mask. I'm wondering if we need to go into the moose pen for that. They did have a pet moose here, after all. We know that the moose died. But what the... Oh, no. Oh, no! How many people are in this well? Oh, no! Why are you two people? Oh, it's not loaded. Fuck. Ah! I can say that again. I didn't realize they split into two. That's so creepy. The hell? <laughs> Where is the mask? Profile someone. Okay, we gotta profile someone. Mulligan and Thornton were fine earlier. How did this happen? A terrible mistake. Shadows crept over Mulligan and Thornton. Shadows on their faces, filling the shape of them. Bright Falls fucking finest. Shitty pastrami sandwich. <laughs> like just, I'm imagining this clip like taking out of context where you're like listening to a bunch of go ghostly voices just go, Shitty pastrami sandwich. I mean, that's true. Moose is good. <laughs> Moose steak is good. Steak is good. Where is the mask? Go in and bleach it. We all bow to him. The mall of the crumbling well. Show the bitch who's wrong. Oh, right. We need. Mask is at the Huatari Well, in Coffee World. <laughs> and finally, the moose skull. Oh no. Okay, Saga. Let's get the clicker from these assholes. Oh no. Okay, I should heal. And then I should put this one on four. Uh, this looks surprisingly normal. Even though I know it isn't. Yeah, I'm about to creep some lead into you motherfuckers. No! 
Logan? Logan! I'm here! Did she drown in a well? Is that Logan. where she drowned? The story is trying to take Logan. I can still stop this. I need the clicker. Saw him this way in the other overlap. Have I been tricked? It's a loop, just like before. Okay, I'm sorry if I'm I'm a little quiet right now, but it's it's this is creepy and intense, and I'm running out of things to say. Uh. How about just fucking no? How long do we keep going around in this fucking loop? Well, until we kill them, I guess. Or am I missing something? Is there something I need to do? Oh! Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh no. That, I need to look for another way through. Ahti. Ahti, please help save me. You can always count on the janitor. That's his music. What's this? Okay, batteries, I need that. I'm gonna need more than that. I'm not sure if I've ever played a game that felt this wet. <laughs> like, that's a weird thing to say, but I think you know what I mean. Fuck you. Running so low on ammo, holy shit. I'm gonna have to use the crossbow, I can retrieve the arrows. That at least. Oh, this is so weird. I still haven't even, got, even gotten the actual boss fight yet. Dead end? No? We're still looping. Oh, God damn it. Oh, this is genuinely unsettling. Holy shit. Oh, it's blood. Still trapped. trapped? How? Wait. What does that mean? Wait, does that mean that Alan Wake is still trapped and it's Mr. Scratch that we've released? No, that can't that can't be. No. Is this who is this? What 
What if you go in here? Oh, the sauna. Okay, I'm not gonna take a sauna, but I'm not gonna use the sauna. But I am gonna. I'm gonna take uh, after the stream. I'm gonna take a bath. It's gonna be a nice warm bath. I'm just gonna soak, and it's going to be fucking delightful. That's a promise. Okay. Stuff. Thank you. Holy shit. You needed that. Can I just get to these assholes? I want to get out of here. I'm tired of being wet. I want to kill them and go take a bath. That was that ammo. It was ammo. Get fucked. Was that it? Did I get him? No. Oh, all right. Shit. Okay. Got to get rid of all the darkness points. Oh shit. Okay, I need to heal. Heal me. Hurry! Hurry! Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Where are they? There. Next time they won't be coming back. Oh, they're both coming up. Shit, 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 shit. This time they won't be coming back. Okay, thank you. We got a save pile. <laughs> oh, thank you. I was worried we were going to have to do all of that again. Put him in a little mush. Come on up. Reload. 
god, that's slow. Fuck. Here. Bring cover from him here. Now I have a chance to reload the crossbow. Reload! Come on! <laughs> Saga Anderson, listen. Wake? I I've been tricked. Scratch room. I tried to fix the story, but has it now. It's the key to escape. What do you mean, escape? You're already out. So is Scratch. No. making progress. I wrote to be the story's hero. Save her family. Save us all. Save her family? Bro. Are you talking about my family? Yes. You know it's working. You just need to keep going. Did you put my family in the horror story? I keep seeing him in overlaps, but he's already out. Or is he? Visions coming from the past, when he was still trapped in the dark place. I have the clicker. Oh. <laughs> I can stop this nightmare. Or maybe the the one we released was Scratch, but it it doesn't. <sighs> I don't know. Scratch has been out for a long time. Like he already uh, has been tormenting Alan Wake's wife for a long time. But I, I'm also not sure if time really works the way, like in a linear fashion with the, the dark place and the, the real world. Ah, oh, there's so many things to discuss in the story, so many things to think about and talk about. I, I'm genuinely, weirdly enough, I'm genuinely distressed at the notion that the Koskala brothers and the Tur and the Odin were in the cult, and that the cult were sacrificing people like already. But it, there's there are informa pieces of information here that don't make sense, right? We found instructions in the cult's like very kind of harmless-looking lair, where they talked about sacrificing people. Which means that they were sacrificing people. That's not just something that came with the darkness. Or maybe it did. I don't know. But the deputies, they shot something they thought was a monster. And then it turned out to be someone they knew. And they were horrified. So it's not like they were like, we gotta like murder people and just leave them dead in the on a table, picnic table. Like, Because if they did that kind of shit, they wouldn't be faced by killing someone. But maybe they didn't see... The people coming out of the lake as people. Maybe they didn't see Nightingale as a person. Maybe they saw him as like a like a monster. You know, I don't. Oh God, there's so many things I don't know. <laughs> so much just speculation. Oh, we're back Wake in. Said he could use the clicker to undo the horror story. I need to get back to Bright Falls to Casey and Wake. But if what if that is, what if that is Scratch Casey. though? What if that is Scratch though? What if that is Scratch? Yeah, let's get out of this place. I'm I'm done here. <laughs> I'm feeling very done. Doing good. The cold is more or less over, so that's nice. Yeah, it's not like crazy cold anymore. Uh, I had to go ride my bike to work when it was minus 20 uh, a couple days ago. It was a very interesting experience. The strap to my bike helmet froze to my face and I had to like thaw it up with my fingers. <laughs> In order to get pick it up, off. Pick up, pick up. Hey, this is David. Leave a message. David, can you call me back, please? It's urgent. Please. Why isn't David answering? Uh, is Logan all right? How does this all work? Has a horror story already gotten her? That's not the coldest I've ever seen. A few years ago during Christmas, with minus forty-five. Where my dad lives, there's no light pollution on the night. It was so there were no clouds, so you could see the galaxy. And it was pretty as fuck. That sounds kind of awesome, but not something I would like to be out in for a long time. Minus forty-five is like 
I've never had it that bad. Never had it that bad. It's minus 45. I think the coldest was up in um, uh, where my parents live, where I grew up. We had minus 30-ish. That was the coldest that I've been through. For one of those rhymes. Let's see. The old fisherman had great luck. His catch at sea was beyond belief, but the hungry guest found relief in the fisherman's bountiful truck. Okay. Um, there was one time I, I uh, used to work in a place where I had a five-minute walk to work. I lived very close. Oh, here. Weiss, Elder, and Beardol. Okay, good. Um, and uh, it was like minus 30 degrees. So I had to take a... It was very, very short <laughs> trip to work. I made sure that it was very fast. <laughs> oh, is that shotgun ammo? What was that? Yes, thank you. Comic book story idea. A literal space opera, a sci-fi musical with an alien love triangle, murder mystery, aliens meets rear window, sunshine meets the sound of music, <laughs> musical parts drawn in black, white, negative colors, singing is rhyming, rhythm is visual, break the fourth wall, go all out. In a comic book? This is going to be my best work yet. Okay, let's try here. Um, I'm guessing the wise elder is the fisherman. Right? His catch to sea was beyond belief, but the hungriest found relief in the fisherman's bountiful truck. I don't see a truck, but I see a bountiful relief. Whatever. I have a weird feeling something's changed. Something's changed. Don't know how far this you've gotten, but how's the game so far? Uh, it's really good. It's the story is very complicated, but also like it's not comp. It's easy, very easy to follow, but there's a lot going on in it, and I'm genuinely invested in it. And I do think uh, that maybe the ratio the of like might need them again. The ratio of uh, story content to gameplay might be a little high sometimes, but the story is very good and well told, so I don't really mind. And the gameplay is also fun. So I can I can strongly recommend it. I like it. No! Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, golf club. No, it's a tire iron. And that's something. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Some kind of punching implement. not loaded. Ugh. Ooh. <laughs> Something that wouldn't be nice to get hit in the face with. Exactly. That's what I was trying to convey. <laughs> Killing of Monica Thompson was a terrible mistake. Thornton blamed Mulligan's itchy trigger finger. Mulligan blamed Thornton's shitty pastrami sandwich. They only agreed it wasn't their fault. Oh. No one will find her corpse. We'll hide it. Oh, this they is the one they were talking about. The maw of a crumbling well, like the murderers who Atari Brothers did long ago. They lied to everyone. The word would never get out. Oh, this is something that happened a long time ago. It grew inside them, like cancer, the darkness taking over, filling the shape of them. So that's how they got corrupted. So I think I'm going to go back to Casey. Hope that he's okay. No. No, I don't want to. Not again. No, there's more than one.
Not the wolves. Ah! Uh. Oh, f oh, fuck! Holy shit. Where are the wolves? They're not around. Okay, never mind. Maybe they're random. Oh, they repaired the bridge? Well, that's nice. <laughs> it's so vague what time of day this is. Like, it felt like I got here midday, right? Or pre early. And now this is like sunset, I guess, kinda? We're gonna get like minus four. That's pretty good. Like that's a good temperature, I think. I know I like the snow more than you do, but like I, I don't like when it's like minus twenty either. Are you coming? No, I'm very busy wearing a turtleneck and drinking wine. Oh dear, I know what Yako needs. I'm a mirror to the rescue. Bring out your inner wolverine with Wow, this is the best party ever. Thanks, Alma Beer. Alma Beer is a traditional Finnish lager, and we drink it the Finnish way. At the bar, while actively avoiding small talk with strangers. <laughs> Getting blackout drunk on a boat during midsummer and trying not to drown. In the sauna, using your beer can to hide your pippeli from wandering eyes. Partaking <laughs> in the Finnish tradition of Felsarikennit, drinking at home alone in your underwear with no intentions of going out. It's not sad if it's intentional. Alma beer, your Finnish drinking adventure starts here. Yeah, this game is very, very Finnish. Raffles karaoke and skits. Glöggi korvapusti karjal ka karjalan piraka. Right. I wonder if I should save here. Actually, actually, I might save here and go back to uh, Alan Wake's story. Actually, actually, we can switch like this. Right. So I think actually this might be the title page of another manuscript. Return. I didn't remember writing it, but it felt familiar. Important. I had to find it. Right. I think this might be a good time to uh start winding down the stream, actually. But yeah, I'm really enjoying Alan Wake too. It's good. It's a little, like I said, it's a little slow, and, and but I am glad that you don't always have to solve everything by going into the Mind Palace or the Writer's Room in Alan Alan's case. Sometimes there's things you can just figure out for yourself, which I'm glad. I'm glad that the game doesn't force you to use it uh, too much. I like it, but I don't want to have to do it in order to get everything done, you know? Okay. So, thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh... Take care. Hope you have a lovely evening.